Welcome to the Let's Sign It guide to deploying your signatures in Office 365. Today we will review how to synchronize your user database, connect to Outlook desktop, connect to Outlook online, and connect to all mobile devices with the SMTP connector for Office 365. Synchronizing your user database is an easy task and takes only a few clicks. First, log in to the Let's Sign It platform. From your dashboard, click on your profile picture at the top right corner of the screen. Then, in the drop-down menu, click on Office 365 G Suite Integrations. Click on the arrow next to Microsoft Office 365 Users Directory. If you are the IT admin, just click on Authorize and sign in using your Office 365 admin email. After signing into your Office 365 account, your Office 365 directory is automatically synchronized. You can go to your Team tab to see all your users' data, groups, domains, and more added to the platform. If you are not the IT Admin, click on Ask IT Admin. A pop-up screen will appear with two options. You can copy the link to send to your IT Admin yourself, or you can add their email and click on Send for us to send a personal email to your IT Admin. Add your users by uploading a CSV file. To do so, go to the Team tab on the platform. Click on Add Users. A pop-up will appear. Click on Import under Import Users from your CSV file. You can download our dummy example file to follow the format. Then, upload your CSV file to the platform. Your user data can be viewed from the Team tab. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to consult the FAQ listed in the description below. For desktop, your users will need the Let's Sign It app. There are two ways to deploy the app to all your users. The first is by setting up Microsoft Installer with a GPO or EXE, which will massively install the app on multiple computers. We suggest using this method only if you have a lot of users. The second method is to manually send an invitation to each user to download the app. From the dashboard, click on the Team tab. Then, click on the users you wish to send the invitation to. If you wish to send the invitation to all users, tick the first box here. Click on the three dots next to the Create Group button. Click on Send Invitations. Choose the email service the organization uses and click on No for Has the app been downloaded already? Click on Email Preview to see the message your users will receive. Click on Send Invitation App so that your users can receive the invitation and download the app on their own. Your user will immediately receive an email. All they have to do is click on Download App. The app will automatically install. The user will just have to sign in using their Office 365 email and restart their Outlook. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to consult the FAQ listed in the description below. In a matter of clicks, your users will have their signatures and campaigns on their Outlook online. From your dashboard, click on your profile picture at the top right corner of the screen. Then, in the drop-down menu, click on Office 365 G Suite Integrations. From the Connectors page, click on the arrow next to Microsoft Outlook Web App. If you are the IT administrator and or have the global administrator rights for your Office 365 account, click on Authorize. Sign into your Office 365 account that has the Global Administrator rights. If you run into an issue such as a message saying Administrator rights are not activated, do not worry, this is common. All it means is that you must assign the Application Impersonation permission to your admin account to push the signature through the API. Go to outlook.office365.com slash ECP slash. Log in using your Office 365 Global Administrator account.
Under the Permissions section, click on Admin Roles. Click on the plus sign. Enter in a name for the new role group. Click on the plus sign under Roles. Choose Application Impersonation. Click Add and then OK. Under the Member section, click on the plus sign again. Add your Office 365 admin account and click on OK. Click on Save. Wait a few minutes for Microsoft to release the group. Then, go to your Let's Sign It platform. Go back to the Integrations tab and click on Authorize in the Microsoft Outlook Web Apps section. And sign in using your Office 365 admin account. Your Office 365 and Let's Sign It account are now connected. You can easily diffuse your signatures to all your colleagues. If you have any questions or would like some more guidance in setting up the Outlook Online, do not hesitate to check out the article listed in the description below, or message our customer care team by clicking on the chat button at the bottom of your screen of your Let's Sign It platform. Wish to send your emails with your branded and harmonized email signatures from anywhere? No problem! With the SMTP connector, this can be easily done. From the Let's Sign It dashboard, click on your Settings menu at the top right corner of your screen. From the drop-down menu, click on the Office 365 G Suite Integrations tab. Scroll down to the SMTP Office 365 section and click on the arrow. Then, click on Configuration. A pop-up screen will appear that lists what Let's Sign It will need permission to, such as create an outbound connector, an inbound connector to enable the authenticated emails, and create a transport rule. Click Next. Type in the domain name you wish to create the connection for. If you need to update your SPF records, find the correct value below. And then click Next. Authenticate yourself by entering in your global administrator, username, and password. Click Next. Let's sign it will propose the relay that appears in the DNS configuration for Office 365. Click Next. Now all you have to do is wait for Office to finish setting up the SMTP connector. You can click Close. Once the SMTP connector has finished setting up, you will receive an email. If you have any questions or would like some more guidance, do not hesitate to check out the article listed in the description below. Now you can enjoy your signatures from any device at any time. If you have any questions or need further guidance in deploying the solution, you can always consult the Help Center. From your dashboard, click on the question mark icon at the top right corner of the screen. Here you can find all the documents to get you started, such as tutorials, frequently asked questions, or our direct chat button, which connects you to our support team. Thank you for your interest and let's sign it the go-to email signature manager for Office 365.